you know there guys and girls um, what we're going to be doing what, what I'm doing today is I've built the stove which is in the garage past my brother somewhere in there you can just see it past next to that heat exchanger there you go that one there the person's coming around to collect that on Sunday tomorrow <laughs> um, this one is going to be the one we're going to design that runs by fuel so it's going to run on wood and it will also be able to run on oil uh, waste oil preferably of course um, as you can see we've been cutting and grinding and stuff that's the remnants off the old one uh, we're going to use this as the uh, as the stand so we're just going to have that sat on the floor like that and then another one and we're going to have the whole thing set that high up off the floor uh, we could have used those, I say we've got two of those, so we could have used those, but my concern with that would have been with a big chimney on it, is it going to be steady enough? Because the chimney is going to be pretty high up. Um, so that, that was my concern with that one. Uh, other than that, we've just, had, we've just got two gas canisters and we've just literally weld, welded them together. We got these from um, a scrapyard who specialises in uh, X gas cylinders. Uh, these ones were weighed well, well were, were scrapped by the uh, by the company who used to own them because they have got some pretty significant dints in them, um, mostly in the bottoms and in the tops. Well, the one with the big dint in the bottom, you can see that one there. The whole bottom's been pressed in. Um, that which was the base of the top one. We just literally cut the cut, cut the two dints off and weld them both together. So that that that's good. Um, other than that, you can see my terrible welding because I never bothered to clean the metal up, and uh, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> hey, I put my car on the road and that looks good. It's, well, blue doors, but you know. But uh, all we've got to do now is cut the front off. We're going to have it as a dual door system. So we'll be able to make it so the whole door pivots open, the whole front, to this line here. But we're also going to have it so there's a square door on the front as well, which we'll put on at a later point in time. For now, it's just going to have the, the front cut off it and the hinge, uh, nice stainless steel hinge welded on, which is the way I'm going to do it. So that's all for now, folks. And uh, I'll catch you in the next part of the video. All right, there, guys and girls. Well, as you can see, we've got the end cut off now. We've got them both welded together, uh, which I think you saw before. We've now got the hole cut in them, and it's now sitting on stands, which is just the two things that we've cut off of the other gas can. Uh, there's a hole cut in the top. That's going to be where the heat exchanger sits. We're going to build a lip here, so it's going to be like like a lip. The heat exchanger is going to sit on this lip, making a nice seal around the sides. Hot air coming up through the thing is going to go through the heat exchanger and through a big stainless steel flue pipe. Um, the door obviously is going to be uh, welded on a hinge, as I explained in the other one. And then maybe at some point in time we'll cut a square into it. And. Um, you know, cut this top guard off, cut a square into it and have it as, as another door as well as. And I was just laughing at, wowee, isn't that a small gas can? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, okay, I think we're going to go up to the chippy because we're bloody starving. Time is about 12 o'clock in the morning, uh, sorry, noon, sorry. Don't think it, looking at the damn weather. But uh, it is. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to go and get some to eat. So I'll catch you all in a bit, guys. And uh, well, for you lot, it'll be like a second. So I'll see you then. Oh, hello there, guys and girls. Right then. We have been out for quite some time, as it's dark outside, as you can see. So what we've been doing is we've, uh, we've been out and we've actually been getting hold of um, quite, a, quite a lot of waste oil, actually, of friends and relatives. They've had, like, in the garage from car oil changers and you know, that they've kept from the fryer, things like that. And they've, we've, we've managed to mount up about, hmm, about 40 litres worth of oil. Uh, you know, old oil. So that's pretty decent. 
I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, so anyway, I, I've been busy with the welder, the angle grinder there, and the welder. New bottle of gas on. And uh, I've managed to make that. Ooh, ah, oh, does not that look good? Me and my brother, we've, we've both been doing this. So, as you can see, it's it's pretty good. We tried to give it a test fire down the garden. We took it down the garden, took some newspaper in there. We had the air pipe running through the heat island. The, uh, let's turn the fan off. No, nope, that's a light switch. No, nope, that's the drill battery. There we go. <coughs> so, um, yeah, obviously we've still got gaps around the end here. Uh, we're going to make a plate for that and a little L bracket, so it's going to you know sit nicely and neat against that there. Just turn the weather off for a minute. Oh, look. turn the gas off for me. <clears throat> um, so all I was going to do now is I was going to weld the door on. I've got the uh, the old uh, top to the gas stove there. <clears throat> I'm going to weld that on, <clears throat> and uh, we've got some nice. Lovely, lovely stainless steel hinges here. Um, British standard, look, yeah. Proper good stuff. British good stuff. British standard. Certified quality, yeah. That's good stuff. Apparently, it's Euro spec. Yeah, some, uh, some nice hinges there. Stainless steel, which is good. Uh, we'll weld one of those on. What's that say there? Grade 13, whatever that means. Two, 2002. It's got a stamped on the hinge. Mm. And with them being stainless, they still look They still look brand new, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so good hinges. Um, I'm going to weld the door on with a stainless steel hinge. Um, uh, I wanted to make the uh, heat exchanger, yeah. I wanted to make that on a hinge as well, so it opened back on a hinge so you could get to clean it, but we thought, oh, sod it. If it was that bad, we can just, you know, obviously undo the door, uh, reach in with a brush, and just brush it from inside. Just Easy as that. Or we could top. just jet rough down through the top, yeah, that's it. We're going to make the chimney removable. Yeah, we're going to make the, the flue removable, because that's going to go on a square... It's going to look like a... Um, it come up like this, yeah. and then onto the flue. Onto the flue. Um, and that's going to be removable on buckle type clasp things, maybe. We'll see, uh, whatever we can find available at the time. Uh, for, for, for the moment, we'll just have it sort of sitting on and just held in place with, I don't know, rope or something, or wire rope or something, whatever we can mm. find, just so it don't fall over. Um, but I personally think that's pretty good. That, it looks good, anyway. Now, if we can get a well, for wood burning, it's ideal. You know, it's good, it could be good. Uh, we're going to have it so that it's forced air. So we're, we'll have a little blower fan. That one down here. Let me just show you that, guys and girls. Twelve it, volt. Twelve volts. It came from off a uh, what car was it? You remember know, Triumph, wasn't it? Mm, oh, Triumph. Really old. Claim was it? I think it was Triumph Claim. I think it was. I think it was anyway. It was really, really old Triumph. Sadly, it's got plastic. Uh, Fans in it, you know, fins. So you can't use it for an, an, an extractor. But, um, it works but really well as a blower. Personally, I think it'll work fine as a blower, mm. yeah. It's got a troll feature in it where it opens and closes there, yeah. It's a pain in the backside that we need to bypass in some way. We're going to run it on a big variable resistor we've got. Yeah, we've got a really nice big variable resistor in the shed, so we're going to run it on that. And uh, that thing, we could just, uh, I don't know, we could just. Tighten the rivet up or something, or tack it open, yeah, just so if we ever wanted to turn it off, we could do. Yeah, but. Yeah, it'll be alright. It's got uh, nice cabling on it, just on a. Uh, just on thingy leads, so it's uh, it's nice and free, easy, mod moddable. Motor doesn't look very good, but believe me, it works still. It was from out of a car where the bonnet was uh, wide open. It's even got, you know, it's got numbers and names on it. Look, made in United Kingdom. Look, yes, I'll put. 
Vehicle heat. What's that? Division is it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be using that. Oops. Don't trip over the lid. <clears throat> and I think that's pretty good myself. So keep watching guys and girls and we will have a bit more updates on it. Ok guys and girls, as you can see we have had it running and we are quite pleased aren't we with the results it gives. Yep. Now as you can see by the mess we just had it running on paper which has done a pretty good job of blocking the bloody flue which we thought it would do. But a quick blast with the hose pipe and it will clear it out. Uh, we give it a bit of a clean out but not, not much of one. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, smoky. But we had it coming through, and you can literally put your hand on this while it's an absolute roaring flame inside with a bloody air burner blasting into it. And it is freezing cold on your hands. The, the, the smoke went out, it's absolutely freezing cold to the touch. All the heat is being exchanged into the water. Can't believe how efficiently Efficient it's it running. Efficiency works so well. There's yeah. no leaks now. In this yeah, there's no leaks. Well. Although my welding was bad, I didn't bother like cleaning it up like I said in my previous video. It's all that just painted. You know, sorry, uh, welded straight onto the paint, so to speak. I can't be bothered to work to work to clean it up. Uh, it's made for use, not cosmetic. Yeah, that's it. it's it's made to be used, not 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 for what it looks like. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, the idea is now that. We'll have this as a big combustion chamber, and we're going to try and get a wood, uh, an oil burn, you know, a blast burner, whatever you call them, blasting in through the door, and into the in into the burner. Uh, we could do a drip burner if we wanted to, but I don't think that'll work very well. Because we need positive pressure coming in. Yeah, to blasting in to force it up through the heat exchange. Because. The smoke does get really lazy and just wants to come out the front yeah. if it's not got pressure behind it. So what we'll do is we'll have it uh, so, so the door is closed. Uh, we'll have a hole cut in the door somewhere, a pipe sticking in with the um, oil burner sticking out the front of it. And then uh, to the back we'll just have the heat exchange and that should be the th that, that, should, that should do it. Just gotta hope it's not gonna to be too much for the heat exchanger, but I don't think it will, not if we make it small. Uh, if we make it big. I think as long as we keep a good amount of water flowing through that's it. That's it, yeah, we should be fine. Yeah. It'll keep itself cool. That's it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, I, think it'll, I think it's gonna be quite a good little efficient system we've got. I think it'll work quite well. Now, anyway, guys and girls, we're gonna call it a night tonight, so stay tuned for part two of this video. Peace out.